spared. Yeah. And if my life was spared, that means God wasn't ready for me. And if he's not ready for me, that means there's still a purpose and a mission for right. me to complete here. Yeah. And so I better go now that I have this chance right. and fulfill the call that he put on my life. Powerful, powerful message because I think that, like you said, before the accident, you're like, let me get all my ducks in a row, my P's and Q's, let me do all the stuff I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. And, and then this happens, and you're like, sometimes the wake-up calls, sometimes they shake you, and sometimes they literally flip your life upside down. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what is it about when you decided, I'm going to do Curvy Fit Chicks? Tell us a little bit about it. So... Curvy fit chicks. Look here. Uh oh, watch out. <laughs> let, let me tell you, yeah. okay, th- this is so important for me. Yeah. Because, you know, I've always been that curvy uh-huh. girl. I just came out the womb with the curves, okay? <laughs> just, just, just came the out. Doctor, the doctor was like, wow, baby got back. Baby got yeah. back, okay? <laughs> they laughed at me with the diapers on, okay? It was, it was back in those days with the clock <laughs> So. <laughs> So, so, so I always, you know, I always was had the body type and, you know, struggled a lot and had different ups and downs throughout, you know, just life. Sure. You know? Yeah. Um, and, and tried many times to fit into the mold of what I thought healthy fit was. This slim, right. skinny, you know, and I did ridiculous things, you know, starving like myself all- and... You know, going on an 800 calorie diet and all this food. Out. You're like, right here. The, the room is spinning, or is it me? Yeah. And still trying to exercise. You're about to, right. You know, yeah, about to pass you're out. Like, no, I'm about to do 30 more minutes. You know, all this stupidity. Like, look. So I yeah. had this, you know, this epiphany, you know, that wait a minute. Yeah. I don't have to do all of that. Mm-hmm. You know, God didn't make any mistakes with my body. Right. This is the body he sent me with. Right. So this body can be great. Mm-hmm. And this body can be fit. Yes. And this body can be healthy. Yeah. As long as I'm working on being my best self and putting in 100%. Oh, it can do. Yeah. It can do some phenomenal things. And I would say the deep At- down, too. The, oh, the, goodness. The, because I think, like, right now is a prime example of how people are so nervous and scared, terrified almost, yeah. to the point that, that it's like, you know, oh my gosh, it is it really does change it. So it is very interesting. It's it's like walking the walk, you yeah. know. And yeah. so it's not just to talk about it, but it's like this is this is it. You this know? is this is yeah, this is it. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people struggle with, you know, what curvy and fit is. Right. Right? And so that basically means that I have this curvy body. Mm-hmm. I can have the hips and I can have the... But they're not going anywhere, people. I just want to let you know. <laughs> girlfriend. Girlfriend. It's not leaving. The boobs. Oh, it's my not, gosh. It's not... Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, can someone please... Can, they could do a drive-thru Mm-mm. and take some... But they're not. They're not. They're not. So and embrace them and there it is. Embrace, embrace what your body is. And be okay with you. And that's why I say what... I am this woman is about is where you are right now do it right Right. now right so the body you have right now now. you can work on getting fit right now there is no because I hear people say and you can tell you can just you you're a woman okay uh I'll come exercise with you first let me drop 30 pounds first right why would you need to drop 30 pounds to before you exercise? Moving your body, your heart, and especially right now, being outside in the sun, getting out, doing things. Oh, that's so healing. It, it's so healing. It really, really is. Mm-hmm. So what I love is how do you get women to look past their objections that what kind of society in this place right and say come on out let, let's move yes it might be like oh my gosh i feel like i'm gonna die <laughs> it's just because you haven't moved your body like you lift your arm you're like you're shaking but you haven't done anything so right. what is it right how do you do that so there's a lot of mindset work you as know, you can, i love this <laughs> yes as you can probably imagine there's a lot of mindset work yeah um that we have to go through from the beginning right because if if you don't get this taken care of nothing nothing else nothing starts. nothing else matters ever will matter no ever will matter. matter if you don't do that yeah you can't yeah you cannot I don't care what you're trying to if you don't fix this here 
you can I can go down to five right. pounds and I will see still a over two hundred pound right. woman. Right. I and will please understand that. Okay. Please know this. And it's so funny too because usually this is blowing up with people making comments and everything. But what I love is is that this being done is not for anything else but to when you come on to see this later understand that your mindset is everything everything if you don't have the mindset to start the business to lose the weight to um get the job to to be married whatever it is if you don't have that mindset it means nothing nothing at all i love that you start yeah. with mindset yes i start with mine <laughs> drop my card I, I do, and a lot of people are like, oh, so we're not starting with any tea or peels or... No. No, no. we start with mindset. We start with mindset, because you need to know who you really are oh before you can move forward in bettering who you are. You, you can't be lost in trying to, you know, no. You How know. about you need to, re like, you need to release all those toxins, all those you thoughts, have to. the fears, the not good enough, you know, the, you have to, it's... We do a whole thing with forgiveness. Oh, I love it. So much. <laughs> because, because, you know, first of all, you have to admit and acknowledge, you know, that you've you've done wrong to yourself. You oh. have you have not, you know, put yourself as a priority. You have not taken care of yourself. You have not honored your body as your temple. You have not, mm -hmm. you know demonstrated the love that God has for you. You haven't demonstrated that love to yourself. And sometimes we don't demonstrate the love to ourselves right. and yet expect the next person to love us. To love us. But we're the example that they're seeing.